vehicle's been struck by, by bullets and the rocket propelled grenades are exploding. Yeah, writing a letter to your parents to tell them that potentially you may have died. I mean, how do you write that? I'm Adam Edwards, 39 year old Royal Marine, and I work at the Coming Home Centre in Glasgow to help veterans. I joined the Royal Marines because they're the most professional infantry unit in the world. Being deployed to Afghanistan, we knew we were about to experience something very challenging. My recollections were coming into uh, heavy contact with the enemy and uh, in doing so, I was shot. My friend John had been struck. And you keep trying to resuscitate somebody that's not moving. You know, he's pale, he's 21. And then we got on a helicopter and, uh, you know, they put a blanket over him and... He's dead. After that experience, I, I just struggled to connect with people. The Coming Home Centre is a place in Glasgow where veterans can come and escape social isolation and find that sense of camaraderie that they had when they were serving within the military. Service men were forgotten and that's no just me, it's thousands. I was expecting to see lots of old men and uh, there are so many younger veterans who are here seeking help, interacting with and sharing stories with the older generation. Sometimes it's, it's only a hot meal you get as well and it's nice to mingle with like-minded like people. The key thing is that safe space to relax, to meet together, to share experiences and not be alone. I was very lucky to find this place and it's really made a tremendous difference in my life. We're really lucky here to be able to provide five free hot meals a week to veterans with the support of local supermarkets by using food that would otherwise have been sent to landfill. So we're doing our bit for veterans and doing our bit for the environment. It's important for people who play the National Lottery to understand that it supported veterans projects for 25 years and for the veterans that come here the support is immeasurable. Without the National Lottery funding, projects like this just simply wouldn't exist. I see my future differently now, and in turn that allows me to be a better father, a better husband, and to build a home for my family. It's my job, it's my purpose, and it's my pride.